Good morning. I uh, thought I'd make a little video here about what my power pack has morphed into over the last week. Some of you may have saw it when it was stationary, uh, just a little two battery unit. But I had to make this mobile so it could be moved out near the solar panels easily. So I put it in a Stanley toolbox, wired it all up, and uh, here's what we got. Show the inside. We have two 35 amp 12 volt batteries. That'll generate a total of 840 watts of power. And this unit is going to be used strictly for 12 volt DC power. So that 840 watts is going to last quite a while. I do have a 12 volt uh, 110 converter here to use in emergencies. Like when I need to uh, turn on the coffee maker. But this unit is going to be totally separate from... The charge controller where our 12 volt power is actually plugged in and appliances, lights, I have a 12 volt TV, a few other little items that plug directly into this unit here in these holes or I can run a direct line out here where I probably put a little 12 volt cigarette lighter type jack right here and hook it in there so it'll always be hot wired in in case I need it but uh, if I ever do have to use the 110 volt I have a breaker on the system power but to turn on the inverter I'll just flip the switch on the breaker and that sends power to this unit so when I turn it on you can hear it power up and you can see there we have 134 volts correction 13.4 volts going in 126 going out so it'll power any kind of appliance that you would have in your home but only in the short term when you're talking solar power you need to keep track of your amps as well as your wattage. The wattage is what you burn. That's why when you get an electric bill, it's measured in kilowatts. Each kilowatt, of course, is a thousand watts. We have 0.84 kilowatts in this system. But I have tested it previously and it uh, ran a 16 inch HD color TV two lights and a fan on the 12 volt system for six hours and it used three tenths of one volt uh, as you can see here we also have USB ports where you can plug in your phone or a computer or whatever you have that runs off USB power. The solar panels actually plug right into this system right here. I have a jack on the solar panel system. It pops right in and the great thing about this unit is it's self-sustaining during daylight hours. It'll actually charge while you're using it if the sun's out and another good thing about the setup that I have here is the panels are Morpheus panels uh, one other thing I forgot to point out here on this system is the fuse that I have here I have a 10 amp fuse between the charge controller and the batteries you can see here where the wire runs out to the charge controller 
and the reason it's so small is the charge controller is 10 amps. We don't want to overload that and burn it out. But with this system alone, running on 12 volt power, got several hours of power in an emergency when the lights go out. Hey, I can just pop this in, rock and roll. Now the reason I converted this to this toolbox system is for easy mobility. You can see the wheels here. This is a Stanley toolbox. I built everything, set it in, wired it up. So now I don't have to carry it around. It has the extension handle. You can just lean it back and take off and rock and roll. It's actually very easy to do. I did that so if the lights go out while I'm gone and Pam needs some power, she can go out, pop that handle out, pull it in the house, bingo, she's got power. And with hurricane season coming up, summer storms, could very easily happen. I am thinking about building some of these a little smaller with one battery. They would have 420 watts of power to run strictly on DC. It wouldn't have the inverter over there. It wouldn't make a lot of sense to put one on a single battery system because it would burn the wattage out so quickly. Uh, you might be able to use it short term that way to cook uh, with a microwave. Considering you only use a microwave for one or two minutes at a time, when you're heating up emergency foods or soups or things like that. It, w it would work, but you would have to have such a high wattage on your inverter. It really wouldn't make sense on a single battery system. But once I get that put together, I'll let you know. Show you what I come up with. And if you like it, hey, I might make you one. You never know. We'll see what the cost is. See how long it takes to get it together, test it, and I'll update you when that happens.